so ultimately, from where you've come, just sort of in the, the where, to, you know, building a marketplace, right, facilitating and enabling transactions, and now you're actually enabling sort of currencies and, 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 and providing tools with which to transact um, with ease, ideally. Where's the friction? Like, I mean, I, you guys, you guys have had great success, and I don't want to take from that. That's not. That, but I want to start with like, where are the headwinds? From what direction are they coming? The greatest that's keeping us from, you know, a, a basket of currencies, a basket of measurement standards with which we all have confidence and can fluidly and easily transact. Uh, some of the biggest friction in the market is just um, education. Uh, every day, different vendor, different provider comes up and talks about what they do, how they do it. Um, and it's difficult to uh, understand and sift through what's real, what's not real, and, and get down to the fundamentals of, of what the companies are doing. Um, I think there were a few points that are important. One of them, around privacy. Um, I, I think in an environment where people are now consuming content in a place where there is a lot of redefined now PII, um, especially with CCPA, um, being implemented, there there is now a wealth of new data, and it's building up rapidly. I mean, Disney Plus and all, uh, Peacock coming out. There is going to be more and more data available to everybody. Um, so privacy, I think, is a is a core foundation of of how we think about um, being responsible about consumer data, um, how we use it, how we share it. So um, if there is a company out there that doesn't have either direct ownership of the data or a good foundation of how they manage what they're collecting, um, it really doesn't matter. Getting down to this discussion about is it currency grade? How are we going to use it? How are we going to package it up? Um, because it will crumble um, and you won't be able to use the data in a responsible way. Um, I think second is connectivity. So um, not... Uh, of data or uh, platforms? Um, all of the above, you know, so not living in just set top box, not living in just a um, an individual panel, not living in um, new environments where IP is really the, the foundation of it. Um, so have the ability to connect mobile ad IDs, cookies before they disappear, IP address, and then, you know, legacy identifiers. Being able to pull that all together, if you don't have that infrastructure, it's going to be very difficult to have a comprehensive view of the behavior across the different platforms. Well, so this goes back to where we started of like the idea that it takes a village, right? There has to be an arbiter of truth. So education, who's the arbiter of education, right? Who, I mean, I look at, you know, John, uh, hi, John. So John and I talk a lot, and he's got a great perspective of having yeah. been in Europe. And in Europe, there are standards. There is transparency. You know, people have come to the table and raised their hand, and they have absolutely embraced, supported, participated, and then, you know, enabled sort of the implementation of standards and adhere to them with respect and reverence. And we have sort of, just yesterday alone, between talking about OR and Open AP and all these initiatives, like, again, signal to noise ratio, that's the theme. How do we, how do we get accomplish what you you've just said needs to be accomplished to actually make a market and create momentum and critical mass and a tipping point if we can't get everybody to agree or even, God forbid, sit at the same table. I think getting everyone to agree to be transparent. How do you collect data? How do you manage it? What's your methodology for surfacing that up to um, to a third party to use it? Uh, I don't think you have to have a perfect solution. I think you have to have um, good data, responsible collection, responsible privacy management, um, and also put it into a format that people can make their own choice. You know, whether it's an agency building their own attribution or measurement tool, or a third party vendor, um, or even the, the programmers and distributors out there. Um, everybody may have their own uh, approach to it. And like you said before, you have to have a buyer and a seller agree to it. Um, so I think if the underlying data is representative, um, it's privacy compliant, um, and it does have the connectivity to all of the different platforms, it's a good starting point. Um, so at least you're starting with something that doesn't have big bias or big black holes in it, whether it's transparency of how you manage it or how you collect it, um, or the way that it connects across different platforms. Because if you're just looking, I think Asaf from Hulu brought up yesterday, brought up breach and frequency. Um, which seem to be somewhat of a polarizing um, topic. But if you don't start there just understanding how consumers are being exposed to things across those different platforms, you're already starting off handicapped. Um, so I think the, the interconnectivity and transparency of how you do it, I don't think everybody has to agree of exactly what you do with the data once you make a decision about audience measurement or, or attribution, um, but at least transparency and agreement of what are the right ways to collect it and distribute it um, and connect everything. And who do you think is going to dictate the, the terms? Is it, is it buyers saying, I have confidence in this partner, this is who I want to use, go forth and figure it out if you want my dollars? Or is it sellers sort of saying, you know, I, look, I'm putting skin in the game here. First of all, like especially new platforms, I mean, look, new premium video platforms are still supply constrained. 
right? I mean, yeah. there, there's no there's no incentive necessarily economically because of the fact that they are illiquid and supply constrained to adopt a new currency because they don't necessarily need to find growth by with ease of transaction. Or is it going to be, and I'm sure it's a little bit of all, everything, but is it going to require that both buyers and sellers agree before something can happen? And then that feels like it's even further away. I mean, again, what it's like... you see if, today in your business? I, uh, if you have, I think, agreement on what the um, the goal is, the objective, whether it's, you know, uh, broad reach in television or, you know, very addressable down to an individual device and being able to tie that to a, a transaction by that person or that household, it's the agreement of the buyer and the seller. So they, they, have, to, um, they have to agree beyond currency that this is a data set or this is a uh, measurement or metric that we're going to transact on. So, uh, again, I think, you know, everybody can have a different approach. You know, necessary. It doesn't need to be the transactional currency. Um, and we're starting to see that in the way that uh, companies are adopting or generating their own data and view of an audience uh, and then being able to transact on that. It's still early. I mean, it was just, what, four years ago that we started to have all of these advanced TV offerings from the networks and the um, streaming services. So uh, I, I don't think it has to be like a kumbaya, the entire industry comes together. Uh, but there are some agreements in terms of the way that um, we're, we're managing the relationship with consumers, getting the data, and then making decisions on it.